This video was brought to you by stntrading.eu. They enhance your trading experience by offering extremely fast automated trading services for both TF2 and CSGO. Check them out in the description below. Just to start this video off, I'm going to be giving away this unusual right here. I'm going to be doing a giveaway like this every single month this year, so yeah, hopefully that's going to be quite cool. I am doing this mainly this month and today to kind of celebrate the release of this new series and I hope you guys do enjoy the video that you are about to watch. Click the link in the description and it will take you to the page where you can enter the giveaway for this unusual. Good luck and I hope you enjoy the video. Hey guys and welcome to the pilot episode of a brand new series on this channel. This series, as you can tell from the title, is all about how much stuff is. I'm going to be concentrating a lot on collections of items and not just individual items. I might go into unusual prices in a few of the later episodes as I have a lot of good ideas for this series. But for this first episode, I'm going to be talking about collections I have recently finished and that is the Robohack collection. So this isn't really the most interesting start to a series, but since it's a collection I have recently completed, it would be cool to kind of work out how much I paid for the whole collection and what the collection is actually worth. So really, you can just go onto backpack.tf and add all the prices up. That in itself would make the collection worth 4.75 keys, which in itself isn't that bad since the key prices are fairly high right now, and that means that price is about 123.55 ref at the time of making this. If keys drop anymore, it will be less refined or something like that, I don't really know. But it's a cool little collection you could do if you have like a spare 5 keys, around and you know like robo hats I guess. But that's not all this video has to offer. There are a few things that you would have to take into consideration with collections like this. For example, a lot of these hats are actually quite hard to find. For example, the tungsten toque was one of the hats I struggled the most to find and the Google Glass eyes were also very difficult. While they aren't expensive, people will still try and charge more for them since they are hard to find and they are one of the only sellers on the market and they, that means they can price their items up because you're going to have to pay for it if you actually want it because they're one of the only people on there. Now, in reality, that's only going to cost you, at most, around an extra two or three refined because I ended up paying a few scrap extra for a few of these hats because they were the only ones on the market and, you know, that's not too bad but if you have to pay extra for every single hat, that's going to definitely add up. The next factor I want to talk about is the inconsistency between people selling their item and what the Backpack.tf price is listed as. Since Backpack.tf is a guide price, a lot of people try to sell their items for slightly higher or people just want the metal fast and try and sell it for lower than the average price to undercut the market and, you know, get it gone quicker. For example, the Bited Beak is around 21.66 according to Backpack.tf as I'm making this video. But people in the classified listings are selling it for 21 ref, which is a very, very nice 0.66% discount. I mean, not very, very nice, but it's still decent to get a discount. And that in itself isn't really all that much since, you know, it's too reclaimed. But little changes like this in certain collections will definitely make a big difference. For example, if you're on about unusuals or something, there will be people quick selling unusuals that you might want to add to the collection and that will save you a big amount of keys of the total price paid for the collection since you're paying like 30% less than the thing's worth. But in a collection like this, it's not really all that important since the collection itself is so cheap. You might also want to account for the fact that people will be selling painted versions of the hat. In most cases, I don't ever pay more for paint ever, but people will charge you for it and you may be forced to pay it in some cases if there are no other hats available. But that's very rare, so I'm not really going to be trying to add that in and factor that into the final maximum price you're going to be paying for this collection. Another thing I kind of wanted to talk about is the fact that you might be using trading sites to buy these items. Their prices are often slightly different or bang on backpack.tf prices. I used stntrading.eu to find most of the robo hats that were missing from my collection and some of the items ended up being a little bit less than backpack.tf price and some of them ended up being a tiny little bit more but that was a little added bonus of using the site because some of them were cheaper so I saved a bit and then some of them were a little bit more but there weren't that many that were more there were more like backpack.tf prices or less for most of the hats that I did buy 
Now, I'm not saying STN Trading is the best because I'm sponsored by them. I just really, really like the site. Their prices are probably the best prices out there. And, you know, it's just like, sometimes it's just nicer to use than Scrap.tf because there's so many people in the queue. And, you know, there's just... It, STN Trading is actually really, really quick. And Scrap.tf often doesn't have hats I'm looking for or even anything I'm looking for. And STN Trading does. So, with that out of the way, I also knew that STN Trading was going to be constantly stocked with Robo Hats because they do like to buy them and they do like to sell them as well. And things like Scrub.tf and the classified listings of Backpack.tf, for some of the hats on the list I still needed to get, weren't actually there. Like, I couldn't find many on Scrub.tf at all. And I used Backpack.tf to find the final remaining ones because, you know, it, the bots are just easier to deal with than people sometimes. But I did have to go to some people to get the final hats, which isn't too bad. So keeping in mind the fact that for some items you're going to have to pay more for, and a lot of these items you might you might not have to pay full price for, the most that this collection is going to be costing you, if you aren't buying painted items or paying more for no reason or anything special like that, is around 5 keys. For such a nice collection, 5 keys is a really good price in my opinion. And if you want like a real world money figure for this collection, that was about $9.10, £7.40, or €8.64. Now, I really think that is a pretty decent price for such a cool collection, and I really like it, so if you have the spare money or the spare keys or whatever, I definitely recommend looking into the collection, as you might be able to sell the whole collection as itself for a little bit extra, due to the fact that it's a full collection and it's much easier to buy. Anyway, let me know what you thought of this video. I was trying something new out that I have never done on this channel before. So please make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it. Check out my channel for more videos that you may enjoy. And let me know in the comments what other collections you would like me to cover. If you even want me to carry this series on. Thank you for watching so much. And I'll see you all tomorrow for another video. Goodbye.